tell you what. It looks good. It looks really good. You know what mm. I had the other day that yeah. was really good? A bacon taco. It was called a baco. Really? Speaking really? of comfort food. I think it's up there with that waffle. I don't know. You and Christina <laughs> McClarty can put away <laughs> food and it disappears. Where does it go? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows, right? Yeah. Love anyway. to eat. Yes, All right, that let's talk good. about the weather because yes. it is so cold and so windy. We were just talking Freezing about walking outside, outside yeah. and mm -hmm. just going like this because it's that kind of weather. Yeah, right? we haven't even walked outside tonight because mm -hmm. it's yeah. cold out yeah. there. But yeah, it is that kind of weather. We're talking sub-freezing temperatures, 32 degrees or cooler. No surprise, we're under a frost advisory. We're also looking at a few wind advisories out there. This is what's going to happen. The wind is going to die down into the overnight hours, and those wind-protected areas are actually getting colder than everybody else since that air is stagnant it really has the ability to cool down we're not seeing any mixing going on so that's what's going to happen a little later getting a look this evening uh, from Mount Wilson it looks like and we are dealing with clear and cool conditions another thing about clear conditions is when we don't have that insulation we don't have that cloud cover all of the heat is starting to escape this evening and with that we get even colder conditions so you'll see out there right now we're into the 50s we're even into the the 40s in some spots and the wind is kicking up. We're looking at wind pretty much into the teens right now, even windier spots again in the next couple of hours. That wind advisory isn't in fact until 3 a.m. for most spots with the exception of the Antelope Valley. That's in effect until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, but the San Fernando Valley, the Santa Clarita Valley, Antelope Valley and the Los Angeles County Mountains all under a wind advisory tonight. So expecting windy conditions and again as that wind starts to die down into the overnight hours, that's when it's going to get really cold that frost advisory actually kicking in later tonight at 3 a.m. lasting through 9 o'clock in the morning and this is for the Antelope Valley. This includes Palmdale and Lancaster mainly for wind protected areas. That's where we're going to see the coldest numbers. Temperatures expected to drop down to 32 degrees or lower generally between 28 and 32 degrees tonight in those spots. Other spots though are dropping down to the 40s so still very cold out there. 47 Pacoima over to Chino Hills 42 Orange at 48, Apple Valley. Well, you're below freezing. You're at 31 degrees for tonight. We haven't seen temperatures this cold in quite a while. 51 in Palm Springs, 38 in Hammett. One more stop, Big Bear, 24 degrees tonight. So we'll have more on these numbers. We'll show you how warm it's going to get tomorrow for a change in just a little bit. Right, it's,